Good morning bosses, here we are again in my dark bedroom. Why am I doing this? Why do I sound like this? <laughs> well that is because we are doing a very real, raw morning routine. Something I haven't actually done ever is take you through a full morning routine with me and that is what we're gonna do right now. I wasn't really talking for the first part of that because that was really the end of my sleep buffer period where I am not really functioning as a human yet. I'm not thinking straight properly. So I just kind of do the things that get me moving. I do the things that, you know, tell my body that it's time to wake up including but not limited to drinking this lemon water it's become such a craving this lemon water because it really does help me operate for the rest of the day so about half an hour after i wake up for that half an hour i make the bed i do my skincare routine and make my water what you also didn't see was obviously me doing things like making the bed and getting Lola ready for her morning walk, which um, Tom takes her out on. So it is just me in the house for this time, which is really nice. So now I'm gonna sit down with a series of journals that I start the day with. The first one is my morning pages journal. This is just amazing. I am gonna do a full video on morning pages just for Vlogmas. This is something that I learned from Julia Cameron in her book called The Artist's Way. It's basically three pages of stream of consciousness writing to get all of the fuzz and the cobwebs and the annoyances and bad dreams out of my brain, which means I can clear it for creativity and actual tactful thinking for the rest of the day. After that, I will sit down with my goals and affirmations journal. I will rewrite my goals, each of them three times. I will also read out a passage of affirmations I have written for myself. I usually read out the same ones pretty much every single day. Then I read a page of the Daily Stoic, which is my page a day stoicism book. I read it every single day. I absolutely love it. It's probably my new favorite morning ritual. I only started it a few months ago and I can't wait to read it in full next year. And then an added addition to these things at the moment is doing something related to my mindset around birth for no more than five minutes, whether that is reading positive birth affirmations, watching positive birth videos, or reading positive birth stories. I will then open up my daily planner and my bullet journal to check in with a new day. My daily planner lists my calendar for the day and my bullet journal is to list any random tasks that pop into my brain. That's all I really use my bullet journal for and I find it really effective for that. So those are the tasks that I do just to start to get my brain going before I then move into whatever I have scheduled for the day. I don't have any calls or anything today as I'm filming this. I try and never schedule those on Mondays because that's how I really like to batch my week. But there are a lot of other things I need to do so I need to make sure like any other day that I stay on task today. I'll do a workout that my personal trainer has set me around half past nine after I get that first bit of work done. And then I'll check in with my calendar again to remind myself of what I've got going on. It's funny I'm even doing this with you. I never ever thought that I would be vlogging at half past six in the morning, but here we are.
So it's about half past eight now and I have just had breakfast and made my first official cup of tea of the day. I always leave my first cup of tea a bit later now, especially because I can only have two cups a day because of pregnancy. I just need to leave it a little bit later. Monday mornings for me are always jam packed during this time. So after my morning routine and before I exercise and get ready because I check in with all of my clients. I need to catch up with posts in the Busy to Boss Academy Facebook group and I also track a lot of stats as well. Generally speaking, I never schedule anything call-wise or meeting-wise any day really before 11 o'clock. And I really am quite strict on that because I need to get these routine tasks done first thing. And I need to make sure I get those done by the time I'm scheduled to do my workout at 9.30 because I really don't want them to be carried over. Because then after I exercise, I have to get this situation fixed. So this is definitely my usual morning routine today. And the reality is that this the reality. I sit in the dark and I warm up my mind and my body before I really do anything. And then I sit at my laptop and I just start doing some real work for the day. And then typically around 9.30, I work out. I don't do that every day. I usually work out around three times a week. And when I don't work out, I still do that hour or so of work first thing before I then just get ready for the day. So I'm still gonna show you how my full morning goes because I promised I would take you through the full thing. I've also started doing my morning routine in my bedroom at my dressing table rather than doing it in my office. I started doing it there because I just loved that space, especially now that we've decorated it and I felt like I wanted my morning routine to be somewhere else. I didn't wanna start my day in my office. And then when I do start work, which is usually around eight o'clock, that's when I go into my office. Okay, we are all ready for the day now and more presentable. I feel like I can really get cracking with my day now and it feels so, so good to be able to go back to work now knowing that I got those big tasks ticked off first thing this morning when I was still looking not quite so put together. So now I'm going to get into content planning for basically the month of December. I was going to do this at the weekend, but you know, got a plan for Vlogmas. So I'm going to do that this morning now before I take Lola out and have my lunch. I'm going to be switching things up a bit on my Instagram account. Long story short, Instagram thought I was doing something to hack their system or something and blocked my account from doing basically anything for about a week. <laughs> it should lift today, finally. So I'm going to be focusing on a theme for each month. I'm going to be doing less feed posts, more reels, more videos. So yeah, I'm excited to give things a little bit of a shake up. I think when you're getting a bit bored and complacent with things when it comes to content and marketing, it's good to switch things up a bit. I'm also really excited about lunch today. I, can you tell like my day revolves around food? I plan my day around food. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying something new. I'm having fish tacos. So basically fish fingers in a wrap with salad. And I am so excited. I'm eating a lot right now. Being pregnant kind of makes you do that. So at this point right now, before I start this chunk of my work, this basically ends my morning routine as a whole. So that was my really real morning routine. I really appreciate you for watching it. I know that a lot of you are interested in what I actually get up to in the morning. So there you go. In all of its darkness as well. And the reason I decided to do this was because, well, one, so many of you ask to see my morning routine. And two, because your morning routine is really what you make of it. It's what is right for you. It's not supposed to be pretty or cute or brand worthy. It's just supposed to get you to start your day as the best possible version of yourself so you can go out there and really become the boss of your life. And the only way for you to do that is to truly understand 
what you want, how you feel, and what is going to set you up for the best day possible. And I really doubt that scrolling everyone's Instagram of what they got up to at the weekend is the most positive way to start the day. So I do a lot of other things in order to not do that so that I can actually think about what I'm actually thinking about. In fact, the only thing I do on Instagram first thing is a boomerang of my mug to signal to my Instagram audience on stories that it is a brand new day. And that's pretty much it. The only thing I do on Instagram with regards to my morning tasks is respond to DMs. And that's really it until a lot later. And yes, you do have to give back and comment and like and save and share other people's stuff, of course. And it's really nice when you do that. There's a lot of great stuff out there, you know, and maybe things like this video, it gets you pumped to do that. But if you do it first thing in the morning, no matter how positive that thing is, to make you feel, it's still going to make you feel like you're not really doing your own thing. Instead of saying yes to you, you are saying yes to something else and someone else for that matter. We wanna stop that. And so that is why I wanted to share this during Vlogmas. That's why I wanted to share my very real and raw morning routine with you. And I'm also switching up Vlogmas this year as well to make things work a bit better for me. Daily videos for me just isn't possible at the moment with all the projects I've got going on. But like I said in yesterday's video, I do, or day one's video, sorry, I really do want to do Vlogmas. So we're gonna be shooting for two to three videos a week and I think that'll give us enough to work with. So stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Remember to subscribe for those boss vibes. Be grateful for what you have. Show up for yourself every single day and go out there and become the boss of your life. See you soon.